Hi, this video is about managing keys and certificates using Key Store Explorer application. Let's get some understanding on exchanging messages securely. If a message is exchanged on public network, someone can secretly check the message. In order to secure the communication, hypothetically, the sender and receiver can meet at a coffee shop and agree that going further instead of using letter P, they will use letter X. In this case, if the message is secretly monitored, they will not be able to understand the message content. Sender and receiver can decrypt the message using the symmetric key, which is replacing letter X with letter P. To improve the encryption, let's say the sender and the receiver meet again. This time they agree to shift the alphabets by one. Their password is one. That is uh, when they want to write A, they will write B. If they want to write E, they will write G. This is for encryption or decryption. They will just decrease the alphabet by one. If sender and receiver have the same key, it is called a symmetric key. Symmetric key encryption is simple and can encrypt large amount of data. But if there are multiple users, then multiple keys have to be maintained by the receiver. If three people wants to send a message to receiver and if we use a symmetric key, all the three senders and receiver can read the message. To avoid it, the receiver can generate a private and public key. He can distribute his public key Using the public key, the sender can encrypt the message and send the message to the receiver. Only receiver can decrypt the message because he is the only person who is having the private key. Advantages of asymmetric key. A single set can be used to receive messages from any number of senders. Disadvantages, it is complex and it can encrypt only small amount of data. Practically, during handshake, asymmetric keys will be used to establish the trust. Once, the, once that is done, a random session symmetric key will be generated, which will handle the data transfer between the sender and receiver. Let's quickly see the algorithms which can generate asymmetric keys. Elliptical curve algorithm is based on the fact that it is difficult to know Q without knowing how many dot functions were performed on point P. RSA algorithm is developed by these three gentlemen. It is based on the fact that it is easy to multiply prime numbers and then put a mod function on the result. But it is difficult to identify the prime numbers by just looking at the output. Digital signature algorithm is again based on prime numbers. It is primarily used to validate whether a signature is valid or not. Let's understand a few more topics before we proceed. Encoding. Encoding is nothing but writing the same information in a different format. As an example, this character can be represented in decimal, binary or base64 format. Why do we need encoding? Let's say there are some non-printable characters or special characters. Sometimes an application might not be able to display it or transmit it properly. To avoid it, we encode those characters into A to Z, 0 to 9 characters. Almost all applications understand A to Z and 0 to 9 alphabets. That is encoding. Hashing is a mathematical function which will generate a fixed length 
alpha numerical text for given input if there is a change in input then the hash value will change it is not possible to get the input by just using the hash value it is a one way function hashing is not compression in compression uh, using the zip file you can get the input file again but in hashing you cannot get the input again these are different file formats in cryptography pem is base64 encoded certificate it starts with the begin line and end line der is a binary file to store certificates pfx is a binary format to store certificate chain and private key certificates follow x509 or pkcs7 formats to store the information about certificate owner validity and other information why do we need a certificate if you see at the private and public key they are mathematical functions they do not have the information like the validity or who owns the public key or private key so public keys cannot be mass distributed to overcome it we have the concept of certificate you can just imagine it as a piece of paper on which we stick our public key and then write some information about the public key like what is the validity who is the owner and who has verified the public key public key can be self verified or it can be verified by a ca certification authority let's look at key store explorer application there are other applications in the market which can create manage keys and certificates like open ssl cleopatra and more key store is like a bank vault within the vault you will have multiple lockers similarly in key store you can save multiple keys and certificates using this application you can create or open an existing key store or examine a certificate a key store is primarily of pkcs format or java key store jks format let's generate the key pair select the elliptic curve algorithm then select the curve type we can view the certification details like uh, version issuer subject validity and other details similarly we can view the public key details where the type of uh, curve and then a point on the curve details are shaped when we see the private key details we can see the private key similarly we can export the certificate or the public key if we want certification authority to sign our public certificate we can generate that request from here similarly we can generate a key pair using rsa algorithm in rsa public key we have fields like uh, modulus and public exponent 
public exponent is generally 17. When it comes to private key, we have public exponent modulus and other uh, details like two prime numbers. We can set password for the key store. We can set the, the password for uh, the keys. Using this application, we can examine keys and certificates. We can connect to a website and then download the SSL certificates. This is about this application. As an example, this is an official document on how to connect to Saudi Arabia tax system called Zatka. It has a bunch of commands using OpenSSL on how to create key pairs, certificate, and generate a CSR. SAP Cloud Integration Suite also has a key store. Here, we can create key pairs. We can add existing certificates and keys. Let's create, let's create a key pair. We can select the algorithm, whether it is RSA or uh, EC. We have option to download the certificate or certification chain. That's it. Thank you for your time.